Hi everyone and welcome to this video from Excel Tips. In this video, you will see how to calculate the percentage change between two values using a very simple Excel formula. So in order to calculate percentage change, you will need two sets of data. One would be your old value and the other would be your new set of new values. And you, the percentage difference, can, uh, the results of the percentage difference can both either be positive or negative. If your new value is lesser than your old value, you would get a negative percentage difference or which is also called as percentage decrease. In case your new value is greater than your old value, you would get a positive percentage difference which is also known as percentage increase. So now that we know the different types of values or the type different results that we can get from a percentage difference let us quickly look at the formula itself as i said the formula itself is very simple so what we need to do is take the new value subtract it from the old value and then that resulting value from that subtraction we will divide by the old value because we want the new value minus the old value this calculation to happen first it is very important to put this part in a parenthesis otherwise we will end up with a wrong result now let us see this in action so we will go here say equal to as i said open brackets then you have your new value minus your old value close brackets divide by the old value and hit enter now you would see it has calculated a value now you would say that this value is not does not look like the value that i was showing here it does not have a percentage sign there's a very easy fix to that so what you need to do is display this value as a percentage you can do it in two ways if you go to home and you can change the formatting to a percentage like this or an easier fix is to click the percentage style here and once you click that you will see that it is now showing up in a percentage format and I can just quickly easily drag this and as you can see in even if it is an in percentage increase or a decrease it's just the same formula and you have very easily be able to calculate the percentage difference so that's all there is to this very simple formula if this video was useful to you do hit the like button thank you and have a wonderful day